Hey guys, it's Ronnie from Burn Rate Fitness. So today we're going to do a modified burn class that you can do at home. A little total body strength, also some core at the end of it. If you're going to do some cardio, you can do it before or after. So 15 minutes, give or take some intervals on your own, flow into what we call our green for our rest, our blue for our active recovery or lay jog fast squat, yellow for your more aerobic intensity, and red for short legs. First, always recover afterwards. So what we're going to do it now, do you have to come back to see me? Are you going to do it later? Let's get started. Warm up just a little bit, so if you have not warmed up yet, make sure that you're just going to roll out your shoulders a little bit, just to kind of really get those muscles and joints lubricated, so you're not going in really cold. Then do some squats, standing up right here, and then lift the knees up, open them out, and of course if you've got a standard workout, you go ahead and do that on your own too, but I go old school, you can slap the shoulders. Bring it out down and then tuck in that tailbone, round that back, and bring it back down. Roll it all the way back up into some shoulder rolls. Do whatever you need to do. Take about another 30 seconds or so if you need it. If you're running around all day, here we go. Alright, first up, we're going to do some reverse lunges with dumbbells. So if you've got some heavier dumbbells, go ahead and grab those. If you want lighter ones, that's okay too. And you don't even have to do it with the weights. Go ahead and grab them. Big chest, shoulders back. First, you're going to start off stepping back on the left foot. Nice long split stance. Drop that rear knee down. Keep the front knee behind the toes. Push back up. Step back in. That's one. Change it to the right side going down. Lift back up. Step back in. So that's your alternate. If you do all training, 24 total. Otherwise, you can do 12 each side. 11, 10, 9. Push through that heel on that front leg. 7. Nice tight through the core. 6, 5, 4, 3. We got two more. And 1. Shake it out a little bit. Other side, same thing, if you're doing it with me. 12, 11, 10. Good, keep it nice and tight, you're tall. Snatch right over those hips. You can get nine. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, our rest should be going up. Five, four, three, two, one, walk it out a little bit, shake it out. If you're going to use the weight that you used for your first lunge, go ahead and use that. If you want to go heavier later, grab that weight. Same stance, go ahead and get to that split stance that you have with your lunge. The weight's going to be in the same hand as your rear leg. Front leg, bend into it. Lean over a little bit. Brace with your other hand on top of this leg. You're going to row back. We're going to split rows. Elbows going to go behind. Pull the shoulder blade towards the spine. And you're going to row hip to ribs. Right there. 12 of them. 10, 9, 8, 7. Good. 6, 5. We've got 4 more. Keep that chest lifted up. Three, brace to the core. One more, train sides. Put the weight in again, step back with another foot. Lean over, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, just a couple more, and one. Good.
guys, now that you're on the floor with your weights for your chest press, go ahead and bring them up. Looking up to the ceiling, stay nice and tight through those legs, grounded into the floor. Let the elbows lead the way as you bring them down all the way, almost until you touch the floor. You can still feel the skin on the floor, you just don't want to completely rest at the bottom. And then exhale as you press back up. We've got 12 of these. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Six. Squeeze through as you go to the top. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down. Go ahead and set them down. We're going to come back up to do some upper body work before we hit the floor again for some more core. Alright guys, we're back up doing some upper body work. Shoulder press is next, probably less than what we use for chest. The idea when you're doing these is you want to barely be able to get through the last few reps. So you're also going to go a little lighter on the upper body compared to the lower body. So doing shoulder press, you're going to start having those palms facing forward. Your elbows are in line with the chest. You don't want to weight back here or way out front, right there. Inhale on the exhale, brace the core. Push it all the way to the top. When you go to the top, make sure you're not locking your elbows out. Okay? And so you should be able to look up with your eyes, peripheral vision, and see those knuckles. You don't want to go too far back. Alright, you ready? We're going to do 12 of those. 12, 11, 10, 9. Good. Nice and tall. Brace through that core. 7, 6, 5. Four, don't lift the dumbbells. Three, two, one. Bring them on down. Good. Four, 
five, six, stay with me, don't go too quick. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This, get that over to the floor. 14, 15, 16. One more. That in, set down. That'll give you a little bit more fun, okay? Don't go super quick, stay with it, focus on twisting. Roll over and finish out with a plank. Now, you can do this in high plank or low plank, it's up to you. High plank, of course, you're gonna be right here, you can drop to the knees. If you're on low plank, elbows under the shoulders, lift up right here, drop to the knees if you need to. Now, we're gonna hold it 60 to 90 seconds. For those of you that can hold it all day long, you can hold it as much as you want. So it's up to you. Aim for 60 to 90 seconds. Otherwise, hold it as long as you want. Roll shoulders back, lift up, just hold. Now you want to focus on having that straight line, shoulders all the way down to your feet. If you start to lift up right here, reposition, hold those hips in line with the shoulders. You also don't want to sink. Hold it right here. If you ever need to, drop to those knees for a little support. Tuck it in and just hold. Good. 30 seconds in. Give me another 30 seconds at least. Breathe. Even pressure through those forearms and elbows. You'll feel it spread across the upper back. If you start to shake, that's okay. If you start to sweat, that's okay. <laughs> we got 15 seconds at least. Now all legs, glutes, shoulders. Three, two, one. Drop. Good job. Stretch a little bit. Reach back, grab the top of the foot, quad stretch. Now push and pull that foot at the same time. So instead of just pulling it up, go ahead and push into your hand as well. You'll feel that go a little deeper into the quad. Release it and trade sides. Same thing over here. Release it, bring those hands right underneath the shoulders. Just gently lift up that chest, drop the shoulders into the back. Good, now we're gonna come up onto the knees a little bit and do some cat back stretches for your back. Knees right underneath the hips, hands under the shoulders. Just arc, rounding that upper back, dropping that tailbone, tucking in the belly. And then roll the shoulders back, belly drop, tilt the tailbone up, and look ahead. Let's do one more of those nice and slow. Lift it up. Bring it down. Let's get a good shoulder stretch. We're going to stay lifted on the knees, but we're going to thread the needle through. So take your left arm, reach it underneath the right. Go ahead and walk the right arm out, bend the elbow, get that shoulder to the floor. Turn and look at those fingers that you've got on the floor just hold. Look at that, you're doing yoga. Did you know that? <laughs> Trade sides. Tuck it under, bend, lean into it. Come on back up. Crisscross those ankles. We're gonna sit back onto our glutes and extend our legs out in front. Nice and long. Now if your flexibility isn't there and you can't reach your toes, that's okay. Bring those hands either on top of the legs or at your sides. Just push as far out as you can. If you can reach those toes, great, go ahead and get them. Roll the shoulders back with the chest drop, a little bit stretch at the back of the legs. And gently roll it back up. Bring it back in, cross-legged position. Just stretching out the upper back a little bit. Go ahead and do a shoulder stretch here really quick and then we'll go into a tricep stretch. Push it up, hand in between the shoulder blades. And now as we go, we do 
video where it's really working. <laughs> Place those fingers, upper back, bring it around. Inhale, look back up. Exhale, release it down, take the other arm across. Brief shoulder stretch here since we already did one until we push up. Tricep stretch. Good, bring it down, let those arms fall about halfway and then turn the thumbs back behind. Get a little into the biceps, turn it back the other way. Bring it back together and give yourself a good job. Good job, check out the next video and then make sure you get to the party when if you didn't already do it. See you later.